Okay, we'll get started. Um, so thanks for joining. This is our first uh, webinar on our CreditWatch API um, integration. Um, so we'll just jump straight in. Uh, just, just a quick intro um, about myself. Uh, I'm Joseph Bartuli. Um, I'm currently the CTO here at Credit Watch. Um, and uh, today's presentation, like we kind of suggested before, is the API webinar. We'll be going through um, a few different live demonstrations. Um, the session probably won't go for the 30 to 40 minutes, but at the end, we will start asking some questions, something that we haven't done before um, in our webinars. Um, we generally leave those questions that to, to be answered um, separately, but should you have any other problems, we've got a team here to um, uh, answer any uh, current questions that you may have throughout the um, meeting. So just a brief introduction about who we are, because I can see that we've got a mix between um, customers and uh, people that probably haven't used Credit Watch before. Uh, so who are we? We're Australia's leading commercial credit bureau um, with over 50,000 customers. Uh, our main products are probably uh, divided into the five categories we've shown below. Uh, credit reporting, monitoring, alertings, and debt collection tools are probably our, one of our oldest, um, well, they are our oldest product that we've had. So the ability to log in, have a look at your customers, um, uh, and monitor any changes and alerts from them and kind of get a, a risk assessment on how well um, that debtor may be able to pay you. Uh, Data Logic Plus, uh, so that's our trade program where you're able to upload your age trial balance to understand where your risks um, are, uh, where they lie in, in regards to uh, your outstanding debt um, and uh, the customers that you're currently, um, uh, currently dealing with. Uh, Bankruptcy Plus uh, is a is a tool allowing us to check directors if they've been back currently bankrupt or have been bankrupt um, in the past and be able to receive uh, cross uh, directorship alerts. So some pretty handy features there. Apply Easy is our online credit application and auto decisioning solution. Um, we'll dive into this one a little bit more in this um, webinar as well. Um, because we do have quite a few integrations with Apply Easy. Um, and lastly, uh, PPSR Logic. So that's all of our um, PPSR related um, uh, registrations. If you're currently dealing uh, with, um, uh, with PPSR, um, feel free to reach out. We've got a dedicated uh, team here that can definitely help you out um, in those regards. So quickly, just before we begin, I'd like to understand how many people have actually used APIs before, um, just to kind of gauge um, uh, how deep we can go into uh, um, this. So I'm just going to launch a quick poll. Um, and I'll share those results. So we're, we're looking pretty good. We've got uh, uh, almost 50%. So pretty much 50% have used uh, APIs before in the past, or at least they had the company implement the, those. Um, and obviously the other 50% not. We'll, um, so look, for those who are familiar with it, please, there's gonna be, I guess, some, some technical details that we'll have to explain a little bit along the way. So please bear with us. Um, as we go through that. Fantastic. So quickly, just about regarding the uh, current webinar and what we'll be discussing, would, we've already done the, the credit watch piece, but we'll have a quick overview about you know, what an API integration is, um, why you would be wanting to integrate with credit watch and how we can help out. Um, we'll go through some case example, some case examples um, uh, that's kind of covering the live demonstrations. We probably won't go into that um, at this stage. Um, some some 
ideas and thoughts about um, if you're considering it, how you can reach out to us, what questions you can be asking to us. Um, and then I'll get through to some of the questions um, throughout this session. So look, just quickly at a very high level, what is an API? It's really realistically just two ways, uh, a way for two systems, so two computer systems to be able to talk to each other and share data between each other. Um, the most common ways that our customers will be um, uh, be able to communicate with us is to be able to you know, look into their watch list, be able to add, remove the customers, and then looking at their um, alerts on a daily basis through, um, through those APIs, be able to purchase credit reports, um, scores, payment predictors, be able to have a look at the adverse cross-directorship data. That data can get quite complex, so it's actually quite useful to have through an API integration. Um, purchasing on file and current ASIC extracts. Um, the other interesting one that not many people know that we can do uh, is the document verification services. So we've um, got a agreement with DVS where we can check Medicare, driver's license, passports, um, and some other, um, other documents, but they're the three big ones that most customers would normally want to verify. Um, most recently, we've launched our uh, ultimate beneficial owner um, as part of the AML CTF um, uh, regulations and be able to provide PEP, um, so that's politically exposed people, reports, um, sanctions, um, and adverse media. So if you're running any sort of the, uh, any quant decent quantity of those, feel free to reach out um, to us regarding an API um, integration. And lastly, be able to create and search um, applications from our online apply easy um, application. So why would you use um, an API? So if you are currently um, dealing with a high volume of credit reports, um, you know, performed on a monthly basis. So you're kind of thinking about whether you're either onboarding or just performing credit checks before you're letting goods go out the door, um, which is generally a decent um, practice that most a lot of businesses in Australia will follow um, just to make sure that before those goods leave that you know there hasn't been anything uh, um, detrimental happening to that uh, data. Um, if you're finding that your onboarding processes in terms of um, getting customers approved for credit um, is lengthy or tedious and it, uh, maybe there's some inefficiencies there it's definitely something they should have a be having a look at. Um, a lot of our customers integrate because of these reasons. Uh, again, if you've got any you know, large, extensive customer due diligence processes that you need to do, whether that's regulatory or just something that's um, being put upon you um, based on business requirements. Um, and then I guess lastly, the, one of the big things is just the information going across multiple systems. If you're currently running multiple uh, different systems where they're capturing user, your customer's user data. So, if, you know, if you've got an ERP or a, a CRM um, and you're trying to onboard with a different um, tool, you might find that there's uh, different, differentiating information across those channels. So it's something where we can um, uh, help out in terms of trying to synchronize. Um, it, this one here, so how can we help? Um, we can definitely help in those sort of areas that we kind of just described before. Um, generally, all those areas come down to three things. That's time, um, accuracy, um, and ease. So um, when it comes to time, using an API can obviously save a lot of, um, rather than having an individual spending hours going through, um, getting new customers onboarded, um, having a look at profiles before they go out. Um, so business profiles before they go out, uh, um, that um, those goods go out can absolutely save a lot of time. Um, from an accuracy point of view, uh, like we said, if you've got different systems, um, reducing the, that, that double handling so you don't have to have someone pick up data from one system and manually enter it into the other. Um, obviously that re again reduces time. Um, there's a, a a big accuracy impact there and obviously reduces errors. Uh, and anything that you kind of think of in terms of um, uh, where you've got mundane, very tedious tasks, um, the ease of introducing an API can really help out there. Um, 
Officeworks is probably our, our most recent large uh, company that's integrated their ERP um, credit scores, um, DVS, and we can go through, we will be going through a little bit um, into that later on, but they, they were a company that really benefited from, from receiving hundreds of applications a month. Um, in saying that as well, uh, the API is just about uh, big, uh, Oh, yeah, can you just let me know if any come up? Yeah. Hang on, we'll one sec. We've got some problems happening. Oh, can you mute yourself? Sorry about that. Um, we had uh, some of our staff log on. Um, so where were we? Uh, so look from from there as well. The types of different credit watch APIs that we currently have: uh, identifying UBO um, and performing um, PEP and sanctions. So, if like I said before, if you're onboarding your customers and performing AML um, and CTF regulation checks, we definitely can help you out there document verification services, uh, PPSR, we've got some APIs there to be able to um, register uh, as well. Uh, personal name extracts or director extracts as ASIC um, and some people would know them. We can help you out there. Um, ABN and ACN verification. So during your onboarding process, if you're wanting to verify that the company still exists, how long they've been trading for, um, it's a great way to be able to uh, to, to check that out. So just going through some of the live demonstrations in, in terms of who uses us. So the biggest one, one of the biggest and most recent ones would be um, Officeworks. Uh, they have their own online application form. Um, so uh, they, where a customer can sign up to register for a credit account. Um, and obviously for them, integrity of data is, is an absolute essential. You'll find that their form would ask you for, a, for an ABN. That ABN would then um, be passed on to Credit Watch. And then from there, you can see that it would um, populate um, with the business name. So the user's not asked to populate that information uh, for it. So based on that information, the, you can see that the, uh, the data that gets pulled into their system is highly accurate. They've got the ABN, the ACN, the type of entity they are, so whether they're a sole trader, um, uh, an association, a trust, an Australian private company, um, and how long they've been active for. So from that position, you can then make some very smart decisioning rules on your end in terms of how much credit you, you'd want to be giving out. Um, and you can do that instantaneously instead of having your individuals jump on board and have a look at um, uh, having your, your staff jump on board and do manual checks to be able to figure this information out. From there, um, they obviously would love to verify who you are. Um, so the big thing that I can see there is that um, that verification means that if you have, again, those, those AML um, or just need to verify to re reduce fraud components, uh, it's a great way to ensure that the customer that you're um, looking up, uh, uh, that you're onboarding is actually who they say they are. So you'd fill in things like your driver's license number, send that information to us so then we can um, verify whether they are, um, whether the, those details are correct or not. Uh, the, the next customer that we probably um, would love to show you is Flight Center. So we've got Apply Easy with Flight Center who currently use Salesforce as their CRM um, 
uh, of choice and some other software. At the beginning, um, you could imagine such a large company that had um, many disparate systems uh, where information is spread across all those systems. We've had uh, an individual where uh, names, um, email addresses, uh, maybe even uh, address, uh, their physical addresses are all out of date. So what you end up with is a bunch of systems where you're not really sure who is accurate, who's accurately, or which system accurately shares that data. Um, so once they introduce um, their APIs, um, they manage to get a, a, a holistic view of each customer to understand who they are, their latest information. Um, and if you can think of when you, if you ever do email marketing or if your sales guys need to find a, a phone number or an address, it's one of the worst things that could possibly happen is if you've got addresses or um, emails that are out of date to have one central repository um, where all that information is stored and, and kept in sync is obviously provides a lot of value uh, to your business. You can see here apply easy uh, is um, the way that Flight Center uh, obtains that data. So this is a, one of our products that a lot of our customers use. And again, it's the very similar approach to what Officeworks do, but we kind of do the heavy lifting for you. So a customer could jump onto um, your customized apply easy form, fill in the information. We pre-populate um, that information based on all of our data that we currently have within Creditor Watch, and we're able to send that off to um, whatever system, whether you're using Oracle, um, uh, Salesforce, NetSuite, or any other custom tools, we can push that information uh, to, your, to your systems. Uh, lastly, um, uh, we'll just we'll go through um, Prosper. Prosper is a, a small business lender out there and uses it quite extensively extensively during their uh, decision process of, in terms of when they should be um, giving out loans. So uh, a traditional um, loan might take you know weeks going through banks, if not longer. Uh, Prosper is able to do that in generally in under an hour. So be able to. Um, give you within um, a, 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 um, an answer within an hour and then the deposits of the next day because they're able to integrate with um, a lot of different services. So you generally would come onto the to the website, you fill in all your information, you can see that um, you'd need to fill in an ABN, an ACN, um, prove that you're an Australian citizen or resident through DBS. And then what happens from there is not only do they use Credit Watch, but they pull data from banks, zero, MYB, um, they're going to, to be pulling, um, pulling data from hundreds of sources um, uh, um, on the internet to make a real-time decision about, you know, is this, um, will this individual be able to pay us back? Um, would this individual um, or this entity um, provide, uh, you know, did they provide a, a great credit score, have they defaulted on, on other companies, and use all of that data to figure out whether they should be lending to them. So from there, you can kind of see um, that those are the three big cases that where people would um, use uh, Credit Watch um, in their APIs. So anywhere from um, validating and onboarding to keeping data in sync between systems, or just using that data to provide real-time decisionings. Um, uh, uh, in their platforms. Getting that data to you uh, and to your staff um, is actually um, extremely vital. Um, just last, uh, the second last uh, question um, before um, we uh, move on. Just wanted to kind of get a poll. For those who would, having heard this webinar, if you want to be contacted re regarding, the, uh, uh, regarding the API, please um, let me know. Um, we'll get in contact with you um, and hopefully um, we can go from there. I'll just leave the poll up for a few more seconds before we jump to our next slides. Cool, fantastic. Um, so the next few questions that would definitely be um, asking 
um, and most customers are asking is like, how long does it take? Um, generally, we see integrations happen between four to six weeks. And in saying that, it really does depend on how complex your systems are. But generally, our APIs have been built uh, in an extremely easy fashion. Um, if you've got developers on board, they can definitely check out um, the documentation. We're happy to provide that information um, and, uh, uh, and provide that information. And if you need to, um, we're always here to help out. Uh, we're always open to questions to helping that integration happen. Um, if you're thinking about it and you can kind of want to know what questions you need to ask um, a salesperson for, um, some, some things that you might want to think about is how many people you're onboarding, um, identifying what systems that you currently have and where you'd want to um, integrate um, any pain points um, from an upper operational uh, point of view. So when your customers, every, everything from when your customers come on board to when stock leaves to when you offboard customers, um, understanding how um, that flow works. If you have some, um, any the more information you have around there, the better we can help out in terms of telling you how that kind of stuff uh, would work. From a pricing point of view, it depends on your on the volume. So our our BDMs will jump out um, and uh, uh, be able to price that for you um, when we get a better idea of, of what sort of volumes we're looking at. Uh, so before we um, finish off, I'm just going to open up the questions. If you've got any questions, um, please let me know. Um, we can go through a few of them. I can see there is a few questions already. Um, the first one is, is there a performance difference between CreditWatch ABN ACN lookups versus ABR business.gov.au and ABN ACN lookups? Does CW cache these daily? So um, we, we don't cache these uh, on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of uh, just their lookups. Uh, we do generally provide uh, faster services because we do have direct connections to um, ABN and, and ACN. Um, we're generally in, well in under half a second for depending on the data that you're asking for. So if you're really just looking at it in terms of a, a company status, um, yeah, we're definitely a lot faster than um, those two um, data sources out there. The next question is, what skills do you need to set up an API? So uh, if you generally what you would need is a, is a developer or an external contractor. Um, there's some agencies out there that we can help put in touch. Um, if you um, have any of those sort of questions, um, we're definitely able to help and put, point you into the right direction. Um, it also depends on what sort of systems you're using. So um, generally most of the new, especially if you're using a cloud SaaS based system, uh, most of them will have some sort of facility um, or partner network out there to be able to help you integrate um, with other uh, developers. Um, if you don't have developers, can we help? Um, again, we can definitely help you out in terms of pointing you to the, the right direction. We've used, uh, um, many of our customers have used agencies and we're happy to um, uh, provide some sort of recommendations. And uh, the last one, does apply easy maintain and store records uh, for multi-site operations. Uh, I'm assuming, uh, Bamal, that you're talking about uh, whether you've got, uh, uh, whether you can handle different pillars um, or at least different stores or warehouses. I'm not sure exactly what that would mean. Um, however, we do have many customers that use Apply Easy that have very you know, under an umbrella group. So um, Metcash being one um, who have many different um, uh, ap uh, application forms, depending whether you're applying for liquor um, or groceries or other uh, different, um, uh, different pillars that you're trying to uh, purchase from. If you've got different um, needs, feel free to reach out and we can dive into more uh, information from there. I'll, uh, one last question I think we've got time for um, at this stage, uh, which is, um, is, it, is that feasible testing? Do we have a feasible testing environment for CreditWatch APIs? 
uh, we we don't have a testing environment mainly because of our um, our data sources pro don't provide testing environments. Uh, testing environments. However, we definitely can um, look at ways to be able to um, help you out during that during that period. Often, we'll create different accounts um, and help you out in terms of pricing while you're testing new uh, data sources. Okay. Um, so I think that's it right now. Um, look, thanks for joining. Um, so for those that, um, one last poll, sorry. So did you find today's webin uh, webinar useful? Obviously we want your honest feedback to understand uh, whether we should continue doing these polls. Um, they're great um, for us to be able to gauge um, where uh, our customers really want to be seeing um, uh, uh, information being pushed to, whether it's through email, webinars, um, and the such. Fantastic. So look, if you have any questions, please um, feel free to um, reach out to um, our admin team at admin at crudelwatch.com.au. Um, all webinars at creditwatch.com.au. Our team will be on, uh, on um, standby to be answering anything that in the next uh, couple of hours. Uh, for more information, we do have an API page. This document will be sent out, so you'll get a copy of this. Um, and lastly, um, please feel free to um, connect with us on LinkedIn or subscribe to our blogs to find out when more webinars um, are coming out. Thank you all for joining us today.